Okay, a real common question that I get asked is how do I do white hair or white beards? Uh, I thought I'd take just a few minutes here to show you the fundamentals. I thought maybe I can get enough across that you can have the chance to play. This is, uh, you know, just a section of a beard uh, off of one of my portraits. And uh, you'll see that uh, there is some depth and there are, you know, beard hairs over the top and, you know, there's layering. And uh, yet I'm not, I'm not going to, you know, create all of that layering at once. And so this is my method. I use a 2B pencil, even though I'm working with a blonde or a white-haired person, a uh, white beard. The reason is because I want that extra lead. Uh, I want to get there quicker. I don't want to overwork it. But I need clean edges too. So I lay down a series of clean-edged patches. I want them to be random enough that they don't just look like little rows of squares and triangles and all that kind of stuff. But because I have this 2B pencil and I'm working on a white piece of paper, it's going to look plenty dark. And I don't want to have too much in the white areas. I'm creating some negative spaces. But I'm putting it on light enough that I can take it off. Want to have those clean edges. Okay, let's just go ahead and brush that. I get to really take advantage of this because of the graphite, the extra graphite. The 2B is just right for that. And I'm going to brush this as much as I want to. The nice thing about this is it's going to hold a detail because I had clean edges. It's not like the stump, which very well would take a lot of your graphite into uh, over the white places and also work it down into the fibers of the paper so I couldn't get it off as easy. Now, every time I brush this, it recedes what was white back. Now I have a chance to go ahead and come in here with my eraser. I want to make a very substantial blade. Something that was, is going to hold up and yet have a sharp edge. And I want to be able to come in here now and I'm going to take some of these. I'm going to clean them up and I'm also going to run them through so that it's more like a hair instead of just coming to an abrupt end. I'll decide on a few of those. And what's happening here is every time I do something like this, this is now the highest part of the beard. I don't want to overwork this, but you could get as much density as you like. You'll have to experiment with what kind of a structure is going to really be believable. But I think you can see I'm running it right through many of the places that uh, had nothing but the graphite on there. Okay, now I get to brush it again. Guess what's going to happen? We're going to go ahead and push some of that or, you know, distribute some of that extra graphite onto the white. Now it is no longer as white and bright. And I can take out a whole brand new stroke over the top of it. And every time I do that, what I, the last one I take out is going to be the brightest one.
Now you may have to come in and sharpen something up, but you want to be very careful if you use a pencil to not put borders on your strokes, I mean on your uh, your strands of hair. It'll completely defeat the purpose. We want edges to value. We don't want to have everything outlined. Okay, so now I'm going to come back in here with my 2B and maybe I'll emphasize a couple places that I want to go down through, be a little deeper. Ooh, getting a little dark there. Okay, so now we have some extra lead. And I'm going to brush it. Good to go different directions, I think. Now let's go ahead and get our eraser again. I'm going to create a brand new fresh edge. And I'm going to try to make a hair in the foreground. And we clean up one of those ones that was there. See what we can do with that. And I want to be careful not to have it just be one white streak all the way through, I'd like to have an apex to that too, a brighter portion to demonstrate contour and curve. So it might be that I can take it out of the center and let it fade away into the rest of it. Again, if you realize what I'm doing with my eraser, I'm using my tapered stroke. So it always has a transition. I can go ahead and brush that and knock that back. As soon as I've done that, I can come in here with a whole brand new bright stroke and make that in the foreground instead. So many things that don't pick up on the camera. We're going to try and solve that eventually, but we've got to make do with what we have right now. Are you getting the idea though? Every time I brush this and I make a brand new stroke, I have a chance to create more depth. Some of you may have the electric eraser. If you, if you did, and you, you might as well use it, but you don't have to. I've done many beards without ever having an electric eraser, but I just wanted to show you how clean the paper can actually get. You might come in with a harder pencil to clean up the edge, making sure that you do not create a line. Be very, very careful. Another reason why I've wanted you to really become sensitive and have the control so that you can do some things like this without creating a whole other situation. I'm going to go ahead and brush it. Okay. If you had a part that really needed to be dense, uh, you know, thicker, where you weren't looking down uh, so far, you could actually come in here and take off a little bit in an area and make sure that it doesn't, uh, it looks like it's a little thicker and that's why it's a little lighter. So that is the principle. I thought that might help some of you uh, and uh, have it answer your questions. So let's go ahead and have fun drawing.